Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Contemporary Resort. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at Disney's Contemporary Resort where luxury meets modern elegance at this lakeside hotel. Disney's Contemporary Resort is a deluxe hotel located at the Walt Disney World Resort in Bay Lake, Florida. This resort is one of two original hotels, including the nearby Disney's Polynesian Village Resort that opened with the adjacent Magic Kingdom theme park on October 1st, 1971. The contemporary tower was built as an A-frame with outer walls, which slope inwards around an inner atrium. To construct the building, steel frames were erected on site with modular pre-constructed rooms. The main hall, named the Grand Canyon Concourse, is located in the main tower and houses restaurants and gift shops. The Walt Disney World monorail system runs through the inside of this building, and a monorail station is located here for resort guests. Adorning the concourse walls is a multi-story mosaic of the Grand Canyon designed by Disney legend Mary Blair, including the infamous five-legged goat. Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort is a standalone Disney Vacation Club Resort Hotel. Disney's Contemporary Resort is nestled on Bay Lake and consists of the Contemporary Tower, the Bay Lake Tower, the South Garden Wing, and the Convention Center. Up ahead is Disney's Magical Express bus stop, but if we look just over to the right hand side, there's the Convention Center. Let's go take a look at that. There's the main entrance to the Convention Center. Outside of the main entrance of the Contemporary Tower, is Disney's Magical Express bus stop. And here's the portico with its large vaulted ceilings, but let's proceed straight ahead. Here we are at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Let's go through the second set of sliding doors. We're now inside the lobby. We're gonna go over to our left-hand side, right over there. Here's the Bell Services desk. And here's the reception area for check-in. And here's a nice sitting area. For your family and friends to wait for you while you check in. If we were to take these escalators here, it'd take us up to the second floor or the America's level and convention center, but we'll come back to that in a moment. And this escalator heads down from the restaurants and shops on the third level. The wave. Let's walk down this totally tubular hallway. Let's see what's on the menu. The wave of American flavors has entrees like a grilled beef tenderloin, an herb roasted chicken breast, a pork tenderloin, and a seared nochi. Let's take a quick look at the dining room. There's the bar. And here's the Wave Lounge. Let's see what beverages they have to offer. The Wave Lounge serves cocktails like a blood orange margarita, a spicy poblano margarita, a watermelon margarita, a paloma, and a rum swizzle. Let's head down around the corner here. If we were to go out these doors, it'd take us to the marina, the pools, and beach. But we'll see that later. Off to the right hand side of the elevators. But if we go straight ahead, those are the doors that we came in just a moment ago. Adjacent to the main entrance is contemporary grounds. Let's have a peek at the menu items. Contemporary Grounds has beverages like an organic cafe, Femino coffee, a double espresso, a shaken Jamaican cold brew, a cafe latte, a chai latte, and a vanilla latte. There's the Bell Services desk again. Let's go out that sliding door right up ahead. Let's head down this corridor here bus stop. Walt Disney World Bus Transportation is provided to Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, and the Disney Water Parks. 
monorail highway in the sky. The inner monorail beamway goes to Disney's Contemporary Resort, the Transportation and Ticket Center, Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, and the Magic Kingdom. And the outer beamway is the express monorail that travels from the Transportation and Ticket Center to the Magic Kingdom. Let's follow this walkway down to Bay Lake Tower. There's the Disney's Magical Express bus stop. Let's head down to the sports courts just down there on the right hand side. You could even shoot some hoops and play a game of tennis while you overlook Bay Lake. Now let's reverse our direction and head back to the Bay Lake Tower's lobby. Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Let's go inside these sliding doors, followed by the second set of sliding doors. And here's the reception area. Now let's head down this hallway towards the north elevator and make a right and go out these double doors here. We're here in this sleek courtyard and just up ahead is the Bay Cove Pool. Let's go take a look at that. We've arrived at the Bay Cove Pool with the Mickey slide in the background. Where do these stairs go? They go up. We're at the top of the water slide. There's where the water slide meets the pool. That's a big hidden Mickey built into the interactive water feature. There's even a slide for the junior explorers. There's the Whirlpool hot tub just overlooking Bay Lake. Around the corner from Bay Cove Pool is the barbecue pavilion with its shade structure and patio tables. Here's the zero depth entry and just across the pool is the Cove Bar. Let's go check that out. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. The Cove Bar has alcoholic beverages on the rocks like a bourbon breeze, a captain's Mai Tai, a poolside iced tea, a blueberry lemonade, and a banana cabana. Around the corner from the Cove Bar is this fire pit where you could take in stunning views of Bay Lake. Adjacent to Community Hall is the game's courtyard where you could play shuffleboard, cornhole, a game of pool, some chess, connect four, table tennis, bocce ball, and even a game on the putting green. Complimentary equipment available in Community Hall. Let's go there. Through that door is Community Hall. Let's go inside and take a look. They also offer recreation activities like Movie Under the Stars. Here's just a quick look at the interior of Community Hall. Let's go through this door and make a left just around the corner. Over on the left hand side are the elevators. Let's push the button to go up. Let's hit the button for the fifth floor. Off in the distance is the Magic Kingdom with the golden spires of Cinderella Castle. There are the elevators we just got off of. Let's head down this direction here. Down there is the Bay Cove Pool again, but let's make a left and head down the interior guest room hallways here at Bay Lake Tower. Here's the room door entry and the room number plaque. Let's reverse our direction, walk across over the sky bridge over to the Contemporary's main tower. There are the elevators again. Let's go through these double doors here. Here's the sky bridge that overlooks the Magic Kingdom. And on the opposite side is the marina. Let's continue up ahead and go inside these doors. We're now in the main tower. Just up above is the fourth level for the monorail station. Check out the large atrium. Needless to say, they're experiencing a little construction with the Incredibles room upgrades. Let's continue walking down the Grand Canyon concourse. And here's the seven story tall Mary Blair Grand Canyon concourse mural. And here's Bayview Gifts. 
let's go inside and see what they have to offer. And we're immediately greeted with Pride Month merchandise. Let's take a look at this nice hat and see how much it is. And it's $27.99. Let's see if they have any exclusive resort specific merchandise. Yes, they do. They have a Disney's Contemporary Resort towel, t-shirt, and Tervis mug. Let's see how much this is. And it's $26.99. Let's take another quick look before we go out the exit. There's the exit there. Let's go into Fantasia gift shop. And we're immediately greeted with Raya and the Last Dragon merchandise. This gift shop has various items for the Junior Explorers. Let's go out the exit here and make a left just around the corner. And there's the Fantasia Market. They offer various sundries and refreshments. Here's another quick look before we go out the exit. Now let's head down to the arcade on the right hand side. And here's the Game Station Arcade. But sadly, at the moment, it's temporarily unavailable. But I'm hoping it will reopen shortly. Up ahead is security screening, and just above is the monorail station. Monorail! Highway! In the sky! Here's the Grand Canyon mural adorning the elevator shaft again. And just around the corner are the guest elevators. Over to the left hand side is the Outer Rim Bar. Up ahead is Chef Mickey's. And over to the right hand side is the Contempo Cafe. Outer Rim. Here's the lounge area and the bar right up ahead. Let's see the menu items. The Outer Rim serves cocktails like an antioxidant lemonade, a walk the plank, a smoked turkey, a Negroni, a whiskey breeze, and a Moscow mule. You could enjoy your grown up explorer beverage with views of Bay Lake. Chef Mickey's. Let's see what the cost is for Chef Mickey's. Chef Mickey's family dinner pricing is $55 per adult and $36 per child. It's considered a family style feast and offers multiple course options. Here's the reception area and just over to the right hand side is the dining area. Contempo Cafe. Let's check out the menu items. Contempo Cafe offers signature sandwiches like a Contempo burger, a hot turkey sandwich, and a spicy chicken sandwich. They also have flatbreads like a meat lover's flatbread. Here's the mobile order pickup area and the register queue and register wraps. You could dine inside the Grand Canyon concourse. Meanwhile, you could enjoy views of the monorail. And here's another look at the Grand Canyon Concourse mural. Now let's head over to the escalators, just over to the right hand side. There are the restaurants again. We're gonna head down this escalator over here. We're on the third level now. Let's take the escalator down to the second level. Here's the Americas level with the convention center and the ballrooms. There are the ballrooms right down there. Let's head over to the right hand side around the escalator. On the Americas level and convention center or the second level is California Grill. Here's the check-in podium for California Grill. Then you're escorted over to the elevator to take you up to the top level. Let's see what's on the menu. California Grill has entrees like a wild Alaskan halibut, an oak fired filet of beef, jumbo scallops, a 20 ounce bone in ribeye steak, a green circle chicken, and a grilled pork tenderloin. If we were to go down these steps or escalators, it'd take us back to the lobby level. Down this way is the ballroom of the Americas. Well, let's head over to our right hand side and go out these doors here. Over to the left hand side is Bay Lake Tower. Up ahead is Bay Lake. And off to our right hand side is the pool. Let's go see that. Here are the steps we just came down from the convention center. There's just a little bit of construction noise going on. There's the contemporary feature pool. 
There's the contemporary tower in the background. There's even a water slide. Look at the refreshing pool with Bay Lake in the background. There's even a spa. You could even play volleyball just on the shores of Bay Lake. And here's the Bay Pool with stunning views of Bay Lake. You could even rent a cabana. Over to the right hand side is the Bay Pool again. And if you look up ahead, here's Bay Lake. So calm and peaceful. They even offer boat rentals for fishing on Bay Lake. Normally watercraft transportation would be provided to Wilderness Lodge and Fort Wilderness Campground. But at the moment, it's temporarily unavailable. There's the boat dock there and located over to the left hand side of the marina is the boat nook where you could rent watercraft. And here's the Sandbar's quick service dining experience window. Let's take a look at the menu items. The Sandbar serves entrees like a third pound Angus bacon cheeseburger, a foot long all beef hot dog, and a garden salad. Here's Heavy Metal Mickey. Now let's go check out the South Garden Wing's interior hallways. Let's go. We're gonna follow that covered pathway there. Here's that covered pathway. There's even a jogging route here. Look at this courtyard with these beautiful roses. And in the back is the South Garden Wing rooms. Let's go through this sliding door here. Take a look at the modern and sleek feel. And here's the room door entry. And over to the right hand side is the room number plaque. Now it's time to head back to the Contemporary's main tower, back to the lobby. Follow me. Now let's head through this sliding door here, make a left and a quick right. There are the guest elevators on the right hand side again, but let's continue straight ahead. Let's go out through these double sets of double doors to the portico. We're back. Prepare to fast forward through time and space. at the main entrance again we've come full circle but sadly our journey's come to an end well I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's contemporary resort just as much as I have creating it for you with that being said remember to click subscribe smash that like button and ring that notification bell for future channel updates also follow me on Instagram and patreon until next time see you later explorers <laughs>